Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today I want to show you uh, a new product that I recently got. And these are Hemingway's Synthetic Tapered Peacock Quills. Very nice uh, product. There's 21 in each product, in each package. You can see the flies that you make on the back. And here is a list of colors that come with it. You got natural, yellow, blue, gray, olive, red, tan, green, light orange, yellow, and other. This particular one is the olive color. I'm using the natural right here. And I made a couple of flies with this already. And you can see here where I trimmed it down. And I made this fly with that top portion because you don't want the real skinny one part on these uh, on a bigger fly like this. So I trimmed it, and this is what I came up with: nice uh, caddis larva there. So now I'm going to take that other piece and I'm going to make a dry fly with that. I'm going to use 16 op vivas thread. This is olive. I'm going to start the thread in back of the eye. And I'm making a dry fly. So I'm going to go back halfway. And then I'm going to come forward half of that. And that's where we're going to put our wing. For the wing, I'm going to use a pair of, this is slate gray. Uh, CDC and I'm going to put them with the concave sides together line up those tips I'm going to bring everything to the front and the reason why I put them with the concave sides together I don't, know how, don't know how good you can see that you can see there's a little bit of space naturally in between and when I go to divide them that space will help so I want them that wing to be the length of the hook shank. Go ahead and tie that in. I'm going to bring this back. And this will help to get the body taper. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that off at an angle and that will also help to get that body taper go ahead and wrap that the rest of the way down to the tail you can see that taper there I'm go ahead and make sure I don't have a big step and I'm going to bring that thread back down when you put the tail on, it's going to help to straighten that out also. For the tail, I have a... This is just an Indian hackle. This is, an old, this is a scruffy, junky one. I'm going to take a hackle off the tips, off one of the big ones. And there's a lot more in there. To, you have a lot more straight, long, stiff ones. So that's why you want to take that. So the hackles that don't look like they're any good are actually good at the very least for tails, but they're also good for streamers. And this is a bluish dun color. And you can see this feather. You can see this feather. There's a lot of web in there. But as you come up towards the tip here, you can see that there's a lot of uh, those stiff ones, which doesn't have a lot of web so I'm gonna just peel it back peel that feather back I'm gonna leave them on there then I'm gonna take a selection right out of there just going to grab them with one hand and in this matter I can get them lined up pretty decently and pull them off all together. And if I have a short one, I could easily take that out. 
I want that tail to be about the length of the body. I'm going to size that up. I'm going to hold that in place. I'm holding it a little bit towards me. And we're taking it, and when I pull it down, it'll come down right on top of it. And I'll put one wrap underneath the tail just to help hold that up there a bit. I'm going to bring this forward. Before I get all the way to the tie-in, the cutoff point, I'm going to cut it off. So I'm going to lift this up, and I can see where I want that taper. I'm going to use this to help build that taper, and I can see where I want that taper to go to. And that little bit that's left will help make a nice taper. Taper that body out very nicely. Right up to that lump. And there we go. Now I'm going to bring the thread back. I'm going to take my synthetic peacock quill. Use my bodkin needle there to pull it off. I'm going to attach this. I'm going to attach it. It's a sticker, so there's sticky on it. I'm going to put it tie it in so the sticky side is towards me. I'm going to leave a little bit, I'm going to, not going to catch the very end. I'm going to take it in about a quarter of an inch or so. Right where I bent that, you can see it bent there a little bit. And we're going to wrap this down. It's pretty strong, so you, you can't really rip it. And bring that thread back up just behind the wing. I'm going to put my heckle pliers on there. And this being sticky as it is helps to hold it in the hackle plier. I'm going to tighten this up. And now when I wrap it, you can see that little piece of white. I'm going to cover half of that what looks white and we're gonna get these nice segmented body and of course as you go up higher you're going to get a darker color I'm going to tie that off there And I'm going to trim away the excess. After you do a few, you can see what sizes will work on what length. You can see I have a bit of it left there. It's going to be too small for anything. But you, after you do a few, you'll get the idea of where you want to start with that and then you can also cut it at the different spots on the sheet you'll know that one third of it will be for a certain size two thirds will be another size and the top will be another size or even quarters or what I'm going to take a couple more wraps and secure that I'm going to take the wing, I'm going to stand that up, now I talked about dividing the wing and that natural curve of those feathers, you can see that we got a little bit of a space there, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to bring that thread really close to the wing itself before I try to divide it, and I'm going to take that and you can grab a hold of it or just slip that thread through to get that natural wing divide division.
and you can see having that thread right close to the base it is important I almost messed that up there I pushed that one a little bit forward so I'll just put a couple more wraps in front of it to stand it up once again now I have a hackle and this is a drab olive grizzly and I prepared the front giving it that crew cut and I'm going to tie that in and remember you want to leave a couple of those Q cut uh, barbels sticking up I'm going to bring that thread back in front and now I can wrap that hackle this feather is long enough I don't need hackle pliers and as you can see that first wrap or half a wrap the hackle isn't sticking towards the back I'm going to get three wraps in front and I'm going to take that wing and hold that back and rub it against the wing two wraps in front we're going to tie that off I'm going to take my poke and snip and remove that hackle Now I have a couple of hackle barbels sticking towards the front so I'm going to take my half inch tool give that a half hitch and push them back to where they should be pull that down Gonna go ahead and wrap the head. I'll take my whip finish. Pull that in there tight. Take my poke and snip. I'm gonna just give it a little bit of head cement. And here we have a synthetic tapered peacock quill dry fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.